What's up guys? I am unfortunately back from Arizona, back in Illinois. Um, so I was in Arizona for nine or so weeks. For the last two weeks of that, they actually opened up the gyms. So I went from doing bricks and you know all that stuff that I showed you to being actually in a gym for about a week and a half or so, which was awesome. And now I'm back in Illinois where all the gyms are still closed. So I'm trying to get by um, and today I am at in my friend's garage um, trying to make this workout work and you know I'm just happy to have some weights. I did order pretty much everything for a home gym, a rack, uh, a bar, bench, um, everything like that from Rogue but it's probably gonna be, I don't know, at least a month until that comes. It'll be really fun and exciting once that gets in but until then this is probably gonna be the gym that I'm using and I'm very grateful for it so let's get into this workout. So while I am back in Illinois, I am not in downtown Chicago. I'm out in the suburbs where I grew up and lucky for me, my best friend grew up down the street and his family has a rack in their garage. Plenty of weight for me, pretty much can do everything that I need to do and they so graciously have allowed me to work out there, which I'm incredibly grateful for. Um, so that is where this workout is going to be completed today and for the foreseeable future until gyms open up in Illinois. Now I, ha I have actually made a pretty substantial order um, at Rogue uh, to buy a rack, barbell plates, my own bench, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but that's pretty well back ordered, and I'm not sure when it's going to be here. So I don't exactly have my fingers crossed on that. I eventually wanted to get it anyway, so it'll be nice to have it. But I'm not sure that it's going to get here before the gyms open up. But we'll see. Who knows? Crazy times. Um, but today I want to take you through this workout. Um, and I wanna preface by saying this is simply an experiment. I am. I wanna caveat it by saying I'm not necessarily saying that you should train this way or you know this is the best way to train. This is just an experiment that I'm conducting. I'm gonna explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So to start out with the why, um, people ask me so often how long they should be on a particular program, whether it's one of mine or whatever. And I say there's not really a good rule of thumb. You need to ask yourself, two questions. Are you making progress? And are you enjoying your workouts? If you if progress is stopped, or you're bored, then you should switch things up. And for me, training in Arizona, um, you know, with all those bricks doing weighted pull ups and weighted dips, I got so bored. Um, it was not enjoyable. Um, even though I was making some progress in terms of bricks, I was losing muscle overall because it just wasn't quite as effective as a traditional in the gym workout. Um, I, I, don't get me wrong, I was able to maintain a lot more muscle than I would have otherwise, but I definitely got sick of it and I'm really excited to get back to normal training. Um, and what I'm doing here actually is full body. And I think part of the reason this is exciting to me right now is it's pretty much the opposite of what I was doing, which is, you know, 10 or 15 sets of a single exercise uh, for each workout. This is going to give me something that is very different from that. And I think will allow me to make quite a bit of progress. And so here's the premise. Each workout is five exercises, one for shoulders, one for back, one for chest, one for biceps and one for legs. There's none for triceps, which I've mentioned a number of times. I get plenty of tricep activation from my shoulder and chest work, so I don't typically do specific tricep exercises. Also, my triceps naturally develop pretty well, so I don't really need to spend that much time on them. Um, and that is why those are the five that I've picked. And so I'm starting off here with seated overhead press. I actually did 185 for a four by four, which I was pretty happy with after not having done um, seated overhead press in, I don't know, over two months at this point. So in terms of sets and reps, there are two days as part of this uh, program. There is one that is power focused, which is the one that I'm doing here, really just trying to get the lay of the land more than anything uh, in this gym and with the weight and kind of getting comfortable using all this equipment. Um, but there's the first day is power focused. This is obviously to improve strength. And that is going to be four sets of four to six, you know, two to three minutes rest in between sets. And that is uh, for each exercise. So you're gonna be doing four sets of five exercises for 20 sets total. Uh, move down to incline bench here um, for chest. 
So the second workout day, let's call it full body B, is volume focused. So you are going to be doing still five exercises, five different exercises than you did the first time, but you're gonna do eight sets of eight reps and you're only gonna rest 20 to 30 seconds in between sets. This is really to kind of test your metabolic system to kind of improve work capacity versus purely strength. And while the strength is the foundation of the workout, I have found that there's a nice synergistic effect between training really heavy and then also each week incorporating some higher volume strength training. One quick aside, this gym is like a sauna, or I should say this garage is like a sauna, um, which is awesome. It felt so good. I got so loose. Um, you know, definitely had to, probably gonna go in with a bit more salt next time. I sweat a ton, but it just felt great. Um, and again, super grateful to be able to use this little garage gym. Uh, I am absolutely loving training at home now. It's it's fun. So moved into some back work, did some uh, rows, which is actually a pretty nice connection that they have there. It's plate loaded row, um, which is fun. I, I really enjoy doing that. Um, and, and it felt quite good as well. Now weighted pull-ups will be my primary back movement, but I've done those for, you know, eight or nine weeks now straight. And so being able to switch it up a little bit felt good. Um, but when I'm back to, you know, kind of a little bit more normal, I will certainly be back to the weighted pull-ups um, and getting stronger there and, and probably incorporate the rows on my higher volume day. Rows are a nice added back workout. I mean, if you're only gonna do one weighted pull-ups, of course, but rows are a nice secondary movement for sure. Um, and this plate loaded machine actually is pretty nice. You can go fairly heavy um, you know, without any kind of weight stack or anything like that. And then moved into some barbell curls. Um, barbell curls aren't my favorite because of the, the position it puts your wrist in, but you know, I wasn't going crazy heavy or anything here, just really focused more on contraction um, and did a few sets there before wrapping up um, the workout. off lunge you all the way home with the backpack on let's do it that's the workout guys i've left some more information in the description box below i hope you guys enjoyed this again this is just an experiment i'm not saying that full body training is the way to go. I'm just experimenting with it myself and I wanted to update you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to have a conversation about it. And as always, if you have any questions or video requests, feel free to leave those down in the comments as well. But regardless, thank you so much for watching and I appreciate the support.